strap on your armor and grab your d20s because we're heading back into the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. I must admit, I went into this movie with very low expectations. I mean, how good could a movie based on a tabletop game really be? But boy, was I in for a surprise. Dungeon and Dragons Honor Among Thieves was like a chaotic blend of Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings, and a really bad acid trip. All I know is, there was some evil wizard guy trying to take over the world, and our heroes had to stop him with the power of friendship or something. Friendship! Power! Perseverance! Now time for a spoiler alert. If this movie was a dungeon, it would be the kind where you get lost in the first room and end up dying of starvation. Okay, okay, it's not that bad. But this is a roast, so take things with a grain of salt and just enjoy the ride. In a world where people's teeth are whiter than their morals, a group of thieves team up to steal a magical artifact. But as the movie progresses, you realize that the only thing valuable about this heist is the time you wasted watching it. I thought Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves was a movie about a heist. Turns out it was just a campaign to steal my time. Anyways, the movie starts with a group of adventurers who are like the poster children of D&D stereotypes. You have your brooding druid, your reckless barbarian, your pompous wizard, and your oblivious bard. It's like they took the cast of the Big Bang Theory and gave them swords and spells. This group of thieves is a lot like the last group of thieves we saw in that other movie. You know, the one with treasure, dragons, and that guy that looks like a walking mushroom. Only this time, our group of thieves are on a quest to steal a magical artifact from a powerful sorcerer. It's like Ocean's Eleven meets Lord of the Rings but with less charm and more cringe. Let's be honest, the plot twists in this movie were about as predictable as a one-legged goblin in a game of hopscotch. But what I loved about this movie is how it subverts expectations. You see, in most heist movies, the team comes together, makes a plan, and pulls it off flawlessly. But in this movie, they don't. Before we continue, make sure you smash the like button, leave a comment, and share the link on social media. It helps let YouTube know my video is worth watching and will send out notifications. It really helps the channel. Now, if you like what I do and want to support my channel, consider becoming a channel member. You'll gain access to exclusive content like member live streams and have your name listed at the end of my videos. Young people from all over the globe are joining up to fight for the future. I'm doing my part. I appreciate every single one of my supporters. Way more than you know. They're doing their part. Are you? I mean, I don't want to have to roll a persuasion check, but it would really help me out. Now let's get back to roasting Dungeons and Dragons. The characters in Honor Amongst Thieves are as colorful as a tie-dye shirt in a black and white movie. Together they form a dysfunctional family that would make the Manson family look like the Brady Bunch. First up we have the brooding bard, played by that guy from that thing. He spends most of the time trying to be cool and failing miserably. He's also the one who always seems to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Then we've got the sneaky wizard, who's more powerful than a Kardashian's Instagram following. Rounding out the group is a tough-as-nails warrior, played by the only actress in Hollywood who can actually wield a sword without looking ridiculous. I mean, the barbarian's rage in the movie is just like my sex life. Intense, brief, and ultimately unsatisfying. <coughs> but the real star of the show is the paladin. He's got magic, he's got swords that shoot, and he's got a name that sounds like a prescription drug. Seriously, I don't know if I'm supposed to be casting spells or ask my doctor about it. He's also the kind of guy who would give you a lecture on the importance of good posture while a dragon is roasting you alive. All these characters definitely have chemistry. But it's more like the kind of chemistry you get from mixing bleach and ammonia. I mean, if you've ever wondered what it would be like if the characters in Game of Thrones were replaced by characters from a renaissance fair... This movie is your answer. The acting in this movie is like rolling a natural 20. It's rare, 
but when it happens, it's a thing of beauty. The actors fully embrace their roles and bring their characters to life with hilarious one-liners and over-the-top performances. It's like watching a group of friends play D&D, but with a Hollywood budget. Now, the acting in this movie does range from surprisingly good to painfully cringeworthy. Some of the actors really embrace their roles and bring a sense of authenticity to their characters, while others seem to be phoning it in. But the real standout performance comes from the fat CGI dragon. This dragon really caught my eye. I mean, I've seen dragons before, but I've never seen one with a muffin top. This dragon's fire smelled like barbecue sauce and regret. This dragon was so fat, it's no longer a fire breather. It sprays gravy. I bet the dragon's preferred method of attack is a cholesterol bomb. Honestly, I never thought I'd see a dragon with more rolls in a sushi restaurant. But that fat dragon in Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves proved me wrong. Okay, listen. I don't want to keep fat shaming the dragon. But let's be real. He's not exactly the picture of health. I mean, he's got so much blubber he could survive a nuclear winter without even noticing. I'm not fat. I'm big boned. Anyways, the acting performances in this movie were all over the map. Some of it was so wooden, I'm surprised a lumberjack didn't accidentally chop them down. But that doesn't compare to some of the writing. Some of the jokes in the movie were so bad, it made me want to roll a natural one on my own existence. Honestly, I'm surprised they didn't have to make a saving throw against criticism. I mean, the dialogue was so cheesy, I felt like I needed a lactose intolerance warning. I think the director of this movie definitely had a vision but it's not always clear what that vision was. The pacing is all over the place, with some scenes dragging on for what feels like an eternity, while others are over before you know it. The action sequences are well choreographed, but they're often ruined by the awkward dialogue that's shoehorned in between sword swings. The director of this movie must have been a rogue, because they definitely snuck in a bad movie under our nose. But I have to give credit to the director for making some bold choices in this movie. For example, they chose to make the entire thing look like it was filmed in a medieval renaissance fair. Unfortunately, the risk didn't pay off and the movie looked like a low-budget LARP session. The director must have been a big fan of Shaky Cam, because every action scene was so nauseatingly filmed that I had to take a hit of Dramamine halfway through. On the other hand, the special effects are like a bag of holding. They're impressive, but you never know what you're going to get. Some scenes are breathtaking, with fat dragons swooping in and raining meatballs down on everyone, while others were about as convincing as a Nigerian prince asking for your credit card information. But let's talk about the real star of the movie, the world of D&D. The filmmakers have done an amazing job of bringing the world to life. From the dark and eerie forest to the majestic castles, it's like stepping into a whole new world. And the creatures, my goodness, the fat dragon was breathtaking. Mostly because it gassed itself after walking five feet. And the orcs, well, they were orcs. At least I think they were orcs. Were they orcs? Overall, Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves is a fun romp through a fantastic world with enough action, humor, and betrayal to keep you on the edge of your seat. If you're a fan of D&D &D, or just looking for a good time, this movie is definitely worth the watch. Overall, I give it a D&D minus for effort. It's like they rolled a natural one on their creativity check. Oh yeah, seriously, this movie is not going to win any Oscars, but it's not trying to. It's just trying to entertain you, and it succeeds at that. So grab some popcorn, sit back, and enjoy the ride. And if you're still looking for that perfect early Christmas gift, might I suggest a D&D &D starter kit. It's like this movie, but with more math. And just remember, always watch your back. You never know who might be ready to roll a critical hit.